The new anti-teen pregnancy campaign launched on March 4th by Mayor Bloomberg, Deputy Mayor Gibbs, and Human Resources Administration Commissioner Robert Doerr is creating great controversy among New Yorkers. The campaign features ads with toddlers making statements such as, honestly, mom, chances are he won't stay with you. And dad, you'll be paying to support me for the next 20 years. Another ad with a young boy in tears saying, I'm twice as likely not to graduate high school because you had me as a teen. Teen mom, Amoy Edwards from Queens, who had her first child at age 18, felt offended by the new anti-teen pregnancy ads. Yes, they need to take them down. If you're gonna put it up, put it up in like different words because not every teen parent and boyfriend is not together. Like you can have a kid at a young age and still be with the parent up until whenever age. According to Mayor Bloomberg's press release, the anti-teen pregnancy ads are not to shame teen parents, but to show the consequences that come along with having children at an early age. Every year, more than 20,000 teenage New Yorkers become pregnant, and the data tells us 87% of those pregnancies are unintended and usually involve unmarried partners. In fact, as our campaign highlights, 90% of teen parents don't marry each other and many don't stay together at all. I mean, the statistics may be true, I don't know, because I, I haven't done any research to know whether that's true or not. I just find it interesting that all of the babies are of some sort of ethnic, they give off some sort of, they give off some sort of that they are someone of color, that they have some type of ethnic background, which is interesting. I think it's aiming towards uh, black and Hispanics as well. Do you think the ads are targeting a specific type of race? I don't think so, because... You know, I don't, I don't think, think pregnancy is a race thing, it's more of an education thing. CCNY nurse and health advocate Romy Favell, who works with her students every day at Markshack Hall, finds that the health disparities in communities of color can unfortunately create a large percentage of teen pregnancies. She feels the reality and the tone of the ads could cut both ways. So, is it a sad reality? Yes, it is. Is it racist? It's, it's a double-edged sword right there, so... Can I say it's racist, or is it aimed at certain populations? I mean, who put these out there? <laughs> this campaign struck a chord with many New Yorkers. Planned Parenthood issued a press release accusing the campaign of creating stigma, hostility, and negative public opinions about teen pregnancy and parenthood, rather than offering alternative aspirations for young people. Mayor Bloomberg is not giving in to critics. According to a recent New York Times article, the mayor stated that anti-teen pregnancy ads need to portray the negative consequences of teen pregnancy. As a further notice, the ads will continue to run throughout New York City. Reporting live from MCA News, Stephanie Castrolon.